on February 10th morning at Hong King's Temple. Cantonese People's Committee solemnly held the launch of the Tree Growing Festival in remembrance of Uncle Ho. Present at the function were party central member secretary of Cantor City Party Committee, head of Cantor City's National Assembly Delegation Lê Quang Mạnh, state and vice secretary of Cantor City Party Committee, come chairman of Cantor City People's Council Phạm Văn Hiểu, chairman of Cantor City People's Committee Trung Việt Trường, and members of the permanent board, leaders of department centers, urban and suburban districts. At the launch, leaders of the Municipal Party Committee and People's Council, People's Committee, Vietnam Father and French Committee, and Department Centers respectfully paid incense tribute to the ancestors' altar to commemorate and pay honor to merits of ancestors and home kings for their contribution to building and safeguarding the nation. In a solemn atmosphere, all leaders, civil and public servants, and people of Kansas City promise to train, promote their brand power, and excellently complete the side tasks, ACOA's targets, and resolutions of all level party congresses. After the ritual of paying incense tribute, the participants attended the launch of the tree planting festival in remembrance of Uncle Ho at the campus of Hong King's Temple. In a happy atmosphere of the first days of the new year, the city's leaders emphasized the meanings and benefits of tree planting. In the past years, in response to the call of alcohol, Kansas City has actively joined in planting trees to contribute to making the environment brighter, greener, cleaner, and more beautiful. The leader stated that this year's tree planting festival is within the program of responding to the project of planting 1 billion green trees in the 2021-2025 phase launched by the government. Under the program, Kansas City has enacted the plan of growing over 6.8 million green trees in the city. In 2021 alone, nearly 867,000 trees and additional 1.4 million trees have been and will be built in 2022.